It's Poppins. From the title of this video, you can probably guess what we'll be talking about today. He's Genshin Impact Characters, boy. Let's get it. Now, many of you guys probably already know that the Genshin Impact beta starts on July 2nd. And we still got time between then. So for now, we're going to be looking at what's actually on the website, man. There's a lot of things to uncover. We got home, news, characters, Tyvat, manga, and forms. But in today's video, you know, we're going to be taking things by bit by bit. So today, we'll be covering the characters, bro. You probably tell that from the title. So let's see. First, Jean. Some Billy Jean type B, bro. Okay, Jean. As the acting grandmaster of the Nines, Jean has always been devoted to her duties and maintaining peace and Mondstadt. I hope I'm saying that name right. She had been taking precautions long before the onset of Storm Terror's assault. I'm, pretty, I'm guessing that's the dragon. And she will guard Mondstadt with her life always. Now her catchphrase I think is Wind, hear me. Bruh. Next, we got Amber. Amber is like the poster child of this game. Aside from Paimon. Amber, you see her in all the shows, bro. She's the only one like reading us and stuff, bro. And yeah, she's uh she's a character, bro. No, Amber, a perky, straightforward girl who was also the only outrider of the Knights of Favonus. I hope I'm saying that right. Her amazing mastery of the glider has made her a three-time winner of the gliding champion of Monstan. As a rising star within the Knights of Favonus, Amber is always ready for her challenging tasks. Next, we got Lisa. Now she, oh, what the hell, boy. If I had eye tracker, bro, be over. Anyways, she is an intellect witch. She's an intellectual witch, bruh, who can never get enough naps. As a librarian of the Knights of Avarice, Lisa is smart in that she always knows exactly what to do with whatever troubles her. As much as she loves her sleep, she still manages to keep everything under control in a calm, composed manner. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> their cash price thing is uh, there will be time for this later. Come sit and chat with me. Boy, I'm gonna chat with that, bro. Next, we got Kie or Kaye. Kaye. Ki. Ki. Gotcha. So, Ki in the Knights of Favronis, Ki is the most trusted aid for the acting Grandmaster Gene. Billy Jean. <laughs> you can always count on him to solve any intractable problems. Everyone in Mondstadt loves Kiei, but no one knows what secrets this woody, charming knight has. He definitely seems to be charming with the uh, that situation. Anyways, next we got Barbara. She's a healer, it looks like. Anyways, the deaconess of the Fabulous Church and the Shining Starlet adored by all. Although the content of the Scarlet is rather novel in a city of barbs, the people of Mondstadt love Barbara nonetheless. I owe everything to the city's spirit of freedom, Barbara, regarding her popularity. So she's like one of those TikTok popular pe type beat emo freaking e-girls. Okay, I, I okay, I, I can see it. I can see it. And her catchphrase is the best magic is diligence. She's a lolly. Okay, we, <laughs> we gotta skip. Anyways, whoa, Mr. Edgy here. Okay, the look or D look. Hold up. The Luke. The Luke. The Luke. Man's name's The Luke. All right. The Luke. As the wealthiest gentleman. He's a well Whoa, he's a rich boy. Anyways. As the wealthiest gentleman in Mondstadt, the ever dapper. Do I read it like this guy? I read it, bro. The Luke always presents himself as the epitome of perfection. But behind a courteous visage burns a zealous soul that has sworn to protect Mondstadt at all costs, allowing him to mercifully vanquish all who threaten his city. It's his quote is Ice forward to the new dawn. Razor, sponsored by. Some say he is an orphan raised by the wolves. Others say he is a spirit wolf animal form. He is most home in the wild, fighting with claw and thunder. To this day, the wolf boy can be found prowling the forest, where he and his wolf pack hunt to survive using nothing more than their animal instincts. That's, that's respect, bro. That's respect. Man, it's be looking like that equal to from Beyblade. <laughs> Anyways, the, his uh, catchphrase is, the wolves are my lupicle and my family. Oh, it's epic. Anyways, Bruh. next we got Venti, a bard that seems to have arrived in some unknown wind. Sometimes sings poems fresh and new. Man, this dude will make me want to fall asleep, bro. Anyways, likes apples and lively places, but is also not a fan of cheese or anything stinky. Uh oh, stinky. Anyways, when using his Nemo power to control the wind, it often appears as feathers, as he is fond of that which appears light and breezy. This thing is a uh, perfect timing, traveler. Tell me, what is your greatest wish? Never see you again. Bruh. Anyways. We got Cle- Uh-oh. 
<sighs> we got lollies. Okay, um, Glee. Knights of Ever Spark Knight. Forever with a bang and with a flash. <laughs> Yikes, okay. And then disappearing from the stern gaze of acting Grandmaster Jean. So Jean's the Grandmaster. She, she got a lot of titles now. Sure, time and solitary confinement gives a lot of time to think about new gunpowder formulas. But I still be better not to be in solitary in the first place. <laughs> or in a catchphrase is, I want to go out and play. Come on, take me out of play already. Uh oh. Next, we got Bennett. A few young adventurers that the Monster Adventurers Guild has always found themselves tangled up and baffling bouts. He's the only active member of his adventure group, known as Benny's Adventure Team. <laughs> Team Avatar. Okay. After all the other members decided to take leave, oh, they ditched them. Following a series of unfortunate <laughs> incidents, uh oh. As a result, the team is currently on the verge of being dissolved. Being unable to break the Poi Boar's heart, Catherine of the Adventurers Guild has kept Benny's adventurer team on the books, whilst also hiding from the fact that all the other members have long since officially left the team. I've, wow, so he got abandoned. Weather is not bad today. Oh, crude, I jinxed it. Now it's banner rain. This dude, he's got the weekend blinding legs nose thing. Oh. Next, we got Noel. I don't know about this one, Chief. Uh, okay. Like most non monsters young people, Noel always dreamed of being a knight of Everest when she grew up. She may not have what it takes to be a knight just yet, but she is learning. Working as a maid in the knight's headquarters, she is consistently taking notes on what constitutes knightly speech, knightly conduct, and knightly customs. She holds firm with her belief that one day she will join their ranks. She just needs to keep trying her hardest at everything she does. And she says, leave it to me, all of it, whatever it is. And last, we got... Whoa, she got the JoJo pose on. Next, we got Fiscal. A mysterious girl who calls herself that and travels with a knight of raven named Oz. <laughs> I know what Oz. Anyways, currently serves as the investigator in the Adventurers Guild. Though her unique abilities extend her character, and while she will never admit it to herself, hard work, Fiscal has become a rising star among the Adventurers Guild's investigators, earning the recognition of all. Her catchphrase is, you are as I am, a traveler from another world. She'd be hitting different, bro. I don't know. Bruh. So that's all the characters in Mondstadt. But next we got a coming soon, but we got Lou Harbor. And here, the characters here look kind of top tier, bro. I don't know what to say, bro. We got Zhao, one of the mighty and illuminated adepti. Guardian Louis, also heralded as the Guardian Yaksha. Despite his appearance as a young man, occasional legends about him have been documented in ancient books for thousands of years. He is especially fond of what? <laughs> Wang Shu In's Almond Tofu. The reason is that the dish tastes just like the dreams he used to devour. Whoa, this dude's edgy, bro. Man's got that Fortnite mask on. Next, we got. Yeah, bro. Whoa! Yo! <laughs> Alright. Catherine of the Crux, with quite the reputation in Lao. There are those who say she can split mountains and part the sea. She's an Amosis type beat. Others say she draws lightning through her sword. Bro, it's like Zuko and the directing lightning stuff and. <laughs> Alright, anyways, some say that even the mightiest sea beasts are no match for her. For those not in Lao, it may seem like a hearty joke. But those who have sailed with her will say, no matter what, no matter what sea beast there may be, Bidal was sure to split them all in two. Bro, she seems bad. And I'm trying to play the character, bro. <laughs> I'm the captain, so you can be my first mate, deal? <laughs> bro, I'll be your first mate any day. The Next, we got, uh, I'm gonna call her Ning. Owner of the Jade Chamber, the skies of above Lao. There are some stories about Ning with her elegance and mysterious smile. As a token of Liu Xing, not only does she embody the law and order, but she also represents fortune and wit. And her quotas every more accounts, down to every last one. She seems nice. She seems nice. What can I say? Next, we got Zhang Ling, the head chief of the Wanda restaurant, and also a great waitress there. Zhang Ling is extremely passionate about cooking and excels at her signature hot spicy dishes. Although still young, Zhang Ling is a true master of culinary arts with all the skills of a kitchen veteran. She enjoys a good reputation among the hearty eaters at Chi Hu Rock. There is absolutely no need to be nervous if she wants you to go sample her latest creation. It will not disappoint. Promise. She seems nice. I like that little, I don't know, animal thing right there. It's cute. Anyways, her thing is, sit anywhere you like. I can make whatever you want, even if it's not on the menu. Okay. I believe you. Next, we got Zing Q. So, we got... Zhang Lang and Zheng Q in Zhao. 
I hope I'm saying these names right, bro. I hope I'm not coming off as offensive. Anyways, so I guess summon up the Fi Yun common skill. Zing Koi has had a reputation of being studious and play ever since he was a young child. Man's is a scholar, bro. I like the outfit. Dude, all these outfits look pretty good. But there is another side. Everyone knows a daring, adventurous, and much more mischievous side. And last, we got Chang Yun. An exorcist who roams the land with Lao? What? An exorcist? Okay. As his base of operations, evil spirits fling wherever he goes as heir to the clown exorcists. <laughs> I can't believe this exorcist gets an impact. He has always possessed abilities superior to most. However, these abilities are not the result of training, but of an inborn trait, congenital positivity. What? Okay. And his phrase is, once I have read this road of evil spirits, I will break with the abstinence and go to the hot springs. I believe you, man. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much all of the characters that are on the Genshin Impact website. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video, bro. Thank you for checking out this channel, bro. Genshin Impact beta releases July 2nd. And also, look what I look what I saw. Apparently, he was like, only, okay, I don't know if this counts the content creator program, but there were like only 100 beta test access winners. 100. And just to let you know, 2 million people signed up for this game in China. 2 million. And randomly, I got chosen to play the beta this is like such a huge opportunity bro and i hope it goes well and i hope you guys are there for the ride too anyways it's been your boy mini 2 gk and i'll see you next time man Woo! oh but before i go do y'all see this tab right here bro next video is about to be this bro i swear to god all right peace